Welcome back to Houston Life. It's time now for our H-Town sit down. Let's meet today's guest. At 72, stand-up comedian Andy Huggins is still chasing his dream and proving that talent has no age. He appeared on season 13 of America's Got Talent and is one of the original Texas Outlaw Comics, a group of local humorists who back in the 80s helped put Houston on the comedy map. After 45 years in the business, Huggins is finally recording his first stand-up special this weekend. And he joins our H-Town sit-down before the biggest night of his career. And Andy is here with us. Hi, Andy. Welcome. Oh, a young one. <laughs> <laughs> I love all those heck, pictures. Right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you believe all of that? I mean, when you think about where you, when you started in comedy, and I mean, that's not an easy life. I get it. I know. And I didn't cope well with that easy, uh, the difficulty of the life. But, uh, yeah, 40, uh, well, started in late 77. What was that? That's yeah, 45 yeah. years. 45 yeah. years. Okay, yeah. so you mentioned that you didn't cope well. And again, Courtney has mentioned that stand-up comedy is described as one of the most difficult things performers can do on stage. So what has kept you coming back all these years? Because I love it. I love it, and I'm good at it. It's just so satisfying uh, to, 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 to write mm -hmm. and then to perform and, you know, write a new line, have it work. Laughter's great. I just, um, to sound melodramatic about it perhaps but I'm doing what I was put on this earth to do so uh, that's what keeps me coming back what else would I do right I think it's great though when you are doing something that you love so many of us and, and people I think realize too late oh I should have done this or finding you know something in whatever chapter of their life and for you to be able to appear on America's Got Talent when that happened to you later in your career um, I mean at 72, right? Were you at 72 at when 68. you? 68. 68, okay. Right. Um, so walking on that stage and I think just sending a message to others that it's never too late. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I assumed that that was part of the reason for, you know, asking me to do the show. But uh, yeah, it, uh, it, was, uh, it was a thrill. Um, wasn't nearly as nervous as I thought I was going to be. I mean, it was the biggest. Uh, show uh, audience I've ever played to, let alone television yeah. audience, but I was, uh, for some wonderful reason, completely, completely react. You know, there's there's this saying that people like to say, you know, when you die, you're, nobody's going to say, I wish I had worked more. I'm going to say, I wish I had worked more. Huh. Because you get so much out I, of it. Yeah, it's not, you know, it's a cliche. It's If it's fun, it's not work. Well, you know what? It is work, too. Yeah. I mean, it's difficult work. But it's also fun. It's satisfying. So, it's fantastic. Uh, I'm blessed. Let's talk about your life in L.A. at the Comedy Store. So the Comedy Store is an institution that people like Jay Leno, Howie Mandel, Robin Williams, uh, Richard Pryor, these legends, including yourself, wow. have all played that stage. So back in the day, you and Howie Mandel knew each other from the Comedy Store. Tell us the story of what happened when you went to America's Got Talent in 2018. Uh Howie and I knew each other from the comedy store in Westwood. That's mostly where that's mostly where I played, and that's where I knew Howie from. And we got along well, you know. We, we were knew. I don't know that I ever saw Howie outside that building, but we got along real well. Well, I'm backstage at America's Got Talent, and he came through, making his way to the stage. I guess it was with Heidi Klum, and uh, he saw me standing there, and there were you could see a. Uh, Kind of the wheels uh, turning. Uh, yeah, a, a bit of recognition as to where do I know this? And then when he got to the his uh, the panel desk and he saw the name, of course. Wow. That's that I know. And yeah, we start. He got to L.A. about the same time I did in late uh, 1977. He of course from Canada and uh, yeah away from Virginia. So well, that is great. Let's talk about your um, your show this weekend at the Heights Theater. And this is something that's kind of like a bucket list for you and an item that we're checking the box, right? I'm checking the box. <laughs> Somebody uh, has referred to it as my legacy film. And that sounds a little pretentious, perhaps. <laughs> but that's what it is. It's, I'm going to, we're going to uh, 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 film the stand-up. Um, it'll be a uh, full headliner set, so 45 minutes. We got a wonderful theater, uh, Heights Theater mm -hmm. on 19th. Um, 
it's a beautiful thing. So uh, yeah, it's, I'm gonna. It's not gonna be obviously all the jokes I've ever done in my life. That's a seven-hour <laughs> show, and no way I remember all those. <laughs> I don't know. I bet you might. Nah, I need some help. <laughs> 45 minutes uh, uh, is uh, is going to be a challenge because I, I don't know if you've ever seen my act, but it's one-liners. It's uh, mm -hmm. set up punchline, set up punchline, set up punchline. Over the course of 45 minutes, that's close to 200 yeah. jokes. So if I remember 200 jokes, let's not even consider the fact whether it got laughed or not. <laughs> <laughs> that, that becomes irrelevant. That becomes irrelevant. If I can remember 200 jokes, then it's a triumph at age 72. Uh, but so we're going to do 45 minutes worth of the best jokes that I do at the moment in my uh, my my career in my act, and uh, it, I'm real excited about it. And it is kind of a checklist. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, Netflix hasn't come knocking, or Comedy Central, or HBO. So I've been reading for a couple of years. You got to be proactive. Right in this business, so I decided. Uh, uh, well, we'll I'll film it. I'll get you. And my uh, good friend and and fine director Slade Ham, also a comic, he'll be he's producing it, he's directing it. It's a five camera shoot. We're selling tickets, and uh, it is very exciting uh, to even contemplate. Uh, so that's that happening fantastic. this Saturday at seven o'clock at Heights. At Heights Theater. Okay, Andy Huggins, we got to leave it there. We're out of time, but best of luck to you. Thanks for sharing some of your interesting life with us. Okay, do I get a certificate? Y yes, we will make that happen. <laughs> okay, yes, I'm for not sure. Leaving unless I get a certificate. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And uh, don't forget to get tickets to Andy's show this Saturday. Be part of this production. Visit the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. Heights Theater. It is a great venue. And tickets just twenty-five bucks.